Welcome to To Enable Help. This is the third in the series for teachers in setting up their classrooms. We've been through choosing subjects and we've been through choosing organizations that you're going to mentor. Now we're going to choose users. So I'm going to focus on select music theory pre-grade one as an example and this applies to all subjects. So I've got a choice here of in music theory pre-grade one, mentoring specific students or all users. Okay, so I'm going to start first with the specific students. If I click on, if I select the organization, what it's doing is it's gone off to get all the users that are enrolled in music theory pre-grade one for this organization. And at this level, the teacher can go through and choose the learners that are in his or her class. So if you had 90 students enrolled in mathematics grade 8, you might only want to mentor 30 of them. And at this point, I can go and select those individuals that I wish to mentor, and I can save them. There's a second way of doing this, and the second way is doing it by group. Now, if you've managed your groups correctly, you can, in fact, select just a group. So... Already you can see if I wanted to, to mentor this group, I've already got 11 out of 13 selected by having individually selected them. But I could select everybody in that group. And what that'll do is it says 13 out of 13 people are now going to be mentored by me. And I can go save. So now what it's done is it's gone and it's selected all of those learners and I'm now mentoring that specific group. So if I go view classroom, what you'll notice is that I do not have too many learners that I'm mentoring because I've selected a small group of them. So that gives you an idea of the learners that I'm mentoring. Not very many. However, what I could do is mentor all learners in this organization. Okay, so I've chosen Castlebridge Music Development Academy, all learners. I'm just going to give that a second to take effect. And if I save it, Now, if I go to view my classroom, you will notice that I have significantly more learners to mentor that I'm mentoring. So, in this space, I have got dozens and dozens and dozens of, mentor, of learners. So, that is how you select the learners that you're going to mentor for a specific organization. You take that if you're mentoring them all, uh, you deselect it if you're not going to mentor them all, obviously. In which case you can select them by individual. So if I click on this individual button, I can go through and select them one by one. I did it select that again. Just, so I can go through and I can select them by individual or I can select them by group. So my three options, all learners, select by individual, select by group. And um, I hope that helps you in managing the learners that you are going to be teaching.